It was the 7th of August 2019 when Mia celebrated her second birthday the best way she possibly could as she took to the skies like the queen she was. This accomplishment was not an easy one, so gather around and enjoy the journey. It all started on the 19th of September 2018 when the humans had rescued 13-month-old Mia from being stuck in a tiny empty cage where she was scared, lonely, and worst of all, had all of her flight feathers clipped. She lacked confidence and wasn't even comfortable stepping up onto the human arm. The humans had trained Mikey to free fly and were adamant to give her the best life they possibly could. Now before Mia could learn to fly, she had to learn to step up. Target training was where it all began. She loved this activity as all she had to do was step up and would be rewarded with a treat. And even though she had no balance whatsoever, she eventually learned to trust Mummy Human and stay calm. Now desensitizing an indoor bird to the outdoors was extremely important, so the humans took her out daily to watch Mikey fly. She would see how much fun he was having and wondered why her old humans had taken this away so she couldn't have the same. Now Mummy Human had to show Mia that flight was possible and even ran with her to show her how exciting motion really was. She would watch Mikey do recall, yet still be very confused on what she was meant to do. They did their absolute best to encourage her to at least hop, but due to being previously disabled by her old humans, she did not have the confidence to fly. And any gap that was too large, she wouldn't even attempt. The humans took it very slow with Mia, just so she could understand the concept of getting from point A to point B. By the end of their first month, she still couldn't fly, but she knew what she had to do and was praised by Mummy Human with great cuddles. By December 2018, a few flight feathers had grown back and by Daddy Human holding Mia, she had to fly to escape as she still wasn't too keen on him. This was an amazing achievement which continued at home and even on their daily park outings. Strengthening those wing muscles and building her confidence. The following month, after much flapping, Mia achieved her very first recall to Mummy Human. This was a stunning accomplishment which she repeated shortly after once again. Now every single day of recall training, Mia was that one step closer to being free. And even though half her feathers were still clipped, she gave it her all. Mia loved training so much she even did recall with Daddy Human. It did take a while for Mia to achieve outdoor recall, and places like Monica's Garden was the best place to train. This was all they did for the next few months. In different directions, with different winds, until her recall was nearly 100%. Every single morning throughout the entire winter, the humans woke up early and were in the park. 
both birds absolutely loved their park mornings. Where Mia would train as Mikey soared through the skies. It got to a point where Mia started getting bored of recall and decided to venture, which would make Mummy Human run very fast. She had been watching Mikey fly every single day for the last six months and wanted to try this for herself. On the 25th of May, 2019, they decided to let her free. Now this wasn't the smartest thing the humans have done. Letting Mia have her first free flight in a park this built up with trees was asking for trouble. But the humans thought, as she had spent months training there, she would be okay. She did nail her first flight and enjoyed a treat on a tree before taking off for round two. But this time, she got a bit carried away. It seemed like she couldn't land. She ended up taking off up and over the trees. And worst of all, down the road. Mikey and the humans searched for hours on end. And when they found her, the sight was just devastating. She was cut, bruised and very scared. It was clear that something had hit her face first very hard, but the humans were unsure on what. She was taken to the vets, where they wrapped her up to look like E.T., until she was given the all clear to go home and heal. She did look like Two-Face from Batman and was not herself one bit. The humans couldn't forgive themselves for what had happened, and for that moment gave up on free flight with Mia. But remember, she did love to train. And when she was in flight, she was happier than ever, so they just had to persist. By the end of June, the humans found many new locations with minimal trees and distractions. Mia was so happy to get back into training and healed very fast and was looking more beautiful than ever. By the end of July, she was better than she had ever been at recall on a line before. And Mummy Human started curving her landing spots to teach Mia how to loop. Mia picked this up very quickly, and every flight, she did better and better than the last. She even tried to show Mummy Human she didn't need to be caught, as she was a strong, independent bird. Now Mia was never thrown into the air, but raised and given a slight countdown and a nudge, saying it is okay to go, but sometimes she wouldn't want to, which was okay. Flying can be very tiring for a new bird, so training sessions were short and left up to her to fly if she wanted to. By the start of August, Mia was no longer doing small loops, but very, very large ones, over and over again. With perfect landings every single time. On the 7th of August, 2019, Mia turned two, and she was ready. She took off into the sky, celebrating that she was no longer a clipped bird, she was free. Mia's first flight was something the humans had never seen before. She kept going, and going, and going. It did get to a point 
that after three minutes of circling over and over again, the humans picked up that her descending skills may not be strong, so held her perch high as she came in for a safe land. next day, Mia was perfect. A stunning controlled flight with once again a perfect landing. A week later, she experienced new locations which would always begin with a short recall to make sure she was comfortable. And as she would soar through the sky like the queen she was, Sometimes she just didn't want to stop. By the start of September, Mia was finally ready to join her friends. She had made many friends over the last few months, and now she could join them not only on a perch, but in the sky where they had the absolute time of their lives. And she could finally join Mikey flying with the children. And even though Mikey came in to land early, Mia kept going and going. This was such a magical journey with many ups and downs physically and emotionally. But to see a bird that was caged and altered achieving what she was born to do just made it all so worth it. This has been Mia the Macaw's journey to free flight.